Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this topic is stick diagrams. From the exam point of view, you may expect the numericals related to this part. That means the question may be like this. Draw the stick diagram for CMOS inverter or NAND gate or NOR gate. So before actually solving the numericals, let us uh, discuss few basic things related to the stick diagram. As such, it is not possible every time to draw the complicated diagram. So stick diagram is the simplest form of diagram to represent the actual circuit. So I have written the definition. These diagrams are used to plan the layout of transistor cells. As the name indicates, it is a stick diagram. So it makes use of sticks or lines for the representation of devices and conductors. So different color codes are used for drawing the stick diagram. So I have uh, made a list of these color codes. For N diffusion layer, the color is green. For P diffusion, it is yellow. For polysilicon layer, red color is used. For metal one, blue color. And for metal two, dark blue or uh, purple color is used. Then for VDD and VSS contacts, do remember these contacts are represented by this sign, cross sign. So for VDD and VSS contacts, black color is used for wire again black color is used and for implant yellow color is used for drawing the diagram uh, there are simple uh, steps first you should know the boolean equation the boolean equation must be in the complementary form because we are going to make use of the CMOS logic then from the uh, boolean equation draw the CMOS diagram and then from the diagram we will draw the corresponding stick diagram now let us study how to draw the stick diagram. First, we will draw the stick diagram for CMOS inverter. I have already created the video how to draw the CMOS logic, static CMOS logic diagrams for inverter, then for NOR gate, for NAND gate and so on. If you haven't yet watched that video, please do watch that video because all the things are interlinked. Okay, presently we are talking about CMOS inverter. We know that inverter is a circuit in which output is complement of the input. That means if input is A, output will be A bar. Likewise, then in case of uh, static CMOS logic, we know that there are two parts in the circuit. One first upper part is PUN and lower part is PDN. PUN is designed using PMOS, PDN is designed using NMOS. So first I will draw the CMOS diagram. So this part upper part is PMOS. So I will draw the PMOS without fail mark a bu uh, bubble over here. This indicates not operation because this is the diagram for PMOS. Then I will be using at the lower side, I will be using one NMOS. This is the NMOS. We know that lower terminal of NMOS is connected to ground. At this point, I have to apply VDD. These two terminals are joined and from this, I am supposed to take the output. Then combine these two input terminals and apply V in. So this is input V in whose complement is uh, need to be calculated. So this is the corresponding diagram, CMOS diagram. We already discussed how to draw this diagram and so on. So directly I have drawn the diagram. This part is PVN, this part is PDN, this is PMOS, this is NMOS. Now most important part is how to draw the stick diagram from this given circuit. So to draw the stick diagram, first mark two lines, two horizontal lines. The upper horizontal line, I will write it as VDD. Lower horizontal line, I will write it as ground. So these are the two horizontal lines. Now, we have two MOSFETs, two transistors. One is PMOS, another is NMOS. So for the PMOS, draw one P diffusion layer. So let us say this is P diffusion layer. Then at the lower side, draw N diffusion layer. So this is N diffusion layer for the representation of NMOS. Then <clears throat> there is one input that is V in and one output that is I uh, simply I have written it as output. So since there is only one input, I need one polysilicon layer. Let us mark this polysilicon layer over here like this. So this represents the polysilicon layer. One input is there. So I have drawn one polysilicon layer. Now most important part to make the thing simple. In the diagram, in the circuit diagram of CMOS, be habited of writing source and drain terminals. We know the basic things. 
This part is get terminal of PMOS. This is again get terminal of NMOS. Any extended terminal is the get terminal. So this is get terminal. This is get terminal. We are interested in source and drain terminal. Uh, remember it like this. For the PMOS, the upper terminal is source. So remain like this is get terminal. This is source. As I said, upper terminal is source which is connected to VDD. Naturally, lower terminal is a drain. From there, I am taking the output. For NMOS, it is uh, in reverse way. So for NMOS, the lower terminal is source, upper terminal is drain. From where I am supposed to take the output. So this is get terminal, this is get terminal. Not necessary to mark the get terminal in the diagram. So I have marked source and drain terminal. Observe these connections. These drain terminal of PMOS and drain terminal of NMOS are connected and from this common connection output is taken. Now look at this diagram. This is a P diffusion layer. This is N diffusion layer and I have drawn this vertical polysilicon layer. Whenever polysilicon layer intersects the diffusion layer, either P or N diffusion layer, a transistor is formed. So this represents one transistor which is PMOS. This represents another transistor which is NMOS. What we discussed <coughs> from the drain terminal of PMOS and from the uh, drain terminal of NMOS, the common connection is taken and it is uh, generating the output. So I have to mark source and drain in the diagram. So I will write drain over here for PMOS. So naturally remaining part is source. So at this side of uh, at, the, at the other side of polysilicon layer, I will write S. Even if you interchange the source and drain, it will not make any difference. Only connections will be changed. Similarly for NMOS, I will write here drain here source. Now these two drain terminals are connected. Now again, these two drain terminals are connected and from there I'm supposed to take the output. So this is the line corresponding to drain terminal. This part is again corresponding to drain terminal. So I will make the connection like this. Whenever you are taking a connection, mark a cross line. Here I will be taking output. Same technique. Here I will mark a cross. That means from the drain terminals of PMOS and NMOS as it is shown in this diagram, we are supposed to take the output. So this is the output taken from drain terminal of PMOS and drain terminal of NMOS. This is about the output connection. Now remaining connection. The source of PMOS is connected to VDD. So this is the source part. So I will mark the source over here. Again mark a cross. Don't forget to mark these signs and connect it to VDD. So this is the source terminal which is connected to VDD. I have marked the corresponding cross. Then uh, this source terminal is connected to ground source terminal of NMOS means this part is connected to ground. So make a connection to ground again mark the cross. So this is the stick diagram of CMOS inverter. Next is we will draw the stick diagram for CMOS NAND gate. We have already studied this part uh, how to draw the CMOS logic diagram for the NAND gate. So I have drawn the diagram for the NAND gate. We know that this lower part is the PDN and it is a NAND gate. So these two uh, N MOSFETs are in series. For the PDN network upper portion, since this is series connection, I have drawn two parallel P MOSFETs. Two inputs are required A and B, which are shown in this diagram. And this is uh, the point from where the output is taken. At the upper side, we are supposed to connect VDD, lower terminal is connected to ground. So as I said, we have already studied uh, this diagram in the earlier video. So this is the CMOS logic diagram for the NAND gate. Now, <clears throat> like the previous case, we have to mark the source and drain terminal. So this part is for PMOS. So upper part is source. So he will here I will write source. Naturally, lower terminal is ground. Similarly, this upper portion is source. This is drain. For the NMOS, the case is reversed. This is the PDN network where we have connected two NMOS pairs in series. So this terminal is source. So this terminal is drain. Lower terminal for this uh, NMOS pair A. This lower terminal is source. Upper terminal is drain. So I have marked source and drain terminal in the diagram. Now the procedure is exactly same as that of the last case. Only the difference is that here, there are now two inputs A and B. So 
like the previous case first i will mark two horizontal lines one is for vtd another is for ground connection then there are p mosfets and n mosfets so i will mark i will draw one uh, p diffusion layer for corresponding to p mosfet so this is p diffusion layer at the lower side i will draw one n diffusion layer so these are p and n diffusion layers now in the previous case in case of cmos inverter there was only one input here there are two inputs a and b so i need to draw two polysilicon layers so this is one polysilicon layer corresponding to a this is another polysilicon layer corresponding to a b now for this polysilicon layer directly i will mark here input a for this input is b so these polysilicon layers are related to the inputs a and b what we discussed earlier whenever this polysilicon layer crosses the diffusion uh, line it represents the transistor so this is one transistor since it is an upper part it is p mos uh, whose input is a another transistor another p mos whose input is b this is a lower part so it is related to pdn or n mosfet this <coughs> this is the lower end mosfet whose input is a this is one more end mosfet whose input is b now observe this connection uh, the source terminal of this uh, p mosfet b and source terminal of p mosfet a are joined together and they are connected to vdd similarly the drain terminal of both these uh, p mosfets are joined together and from where the output is generated since as shown in this diagram the drain terminal of two MOS, p mosfets are connected together i will mark here the drain terminal for uh, p mosfet a and this is drain terminal for p mosfet b because they are directly joined you may interchange the positions so remaining part is source this remaining part is source now drain terminals are joined together as shown in this diagram and from where the output is generated so i will join a line like this and here i will write output very simple this drain terminal of p mosfet a this is drain terminal of p mosfet b look at the diagram both drain terminals are joined and from where output is generated so i have marked cross over here taken the connection and here i have written output now about source terminal source terminal of p mosfet a is connected to vdd so this is the source part mark across again mark across over here join the line like this it is connected to vdd similarly source terminal of p mosfet b is connected to vdd this portion is related to source terminal mark across here again mark across join the line so this is connected to vdd this is about the upper portion that is p u n same technique we will be using for lower part that is pdn now from the drain terminal of n mosfet a we are supposed to take the output then source of a and source uh, drain of b i mean source of n mosfet a and drain of n mosfet b are joined together so here i will write the source of n mosfet a and here i will write drain of n mosfet b because they are joined together directly so remaining part since this is source this portion is drain since this is drain this portion is source now source and drain are joined together then this source of n mosfet is uh, of n mosfet whose input is b is connected to ground so this is the n mosfet corresponding to input b this source is connected to ground so i will make the connection like this then <clears throat> for uh, this n mosfet whose input is a the drain terminal is connected to the output so this is the drain terminal portion so mark across and this is the output terminal so connect the line like this so this is the connection related to drain terminal of upper n mosfet whose input is a <clears throat> remaining por uh, portion uh, we already completed this drain is connected to output and a source is connected to ground and this source and drain are connected so this is about the complete stick diagram for C, uh, CMOS NAND gate. The next part is stick diagram for CMOS NOR gate. This is the corresponding uh, uh, static CMOS logical diagram. 
I have already marked the source and drain terminal which we have already discussed in the previous case. For P MOSFET, the upper portion is source, lower portion is drain. This is for P MOSFET whose input is A. This is again P MOSFET whose input is B. Upper part is source, lower part is drain. Then this is the series combination. For PDN, this will be in parallel <coughs> and uh, N MOSFETs are used. So for N MOSFET, lower portion is source which is connected together and connected to the ground upper portion is drain. So this is the logical diagram. Now, like the previous case, first to draw the stick diagram, I have to mark two horizontal lines. One is for VDD, another is for ground connection. Then P diffusion layer, everything is similar to the previous case, only connections will be different. Lower portion is for N diffusion layer. There are four transistors in all and there are two input C and B. So I need to draw two polysilicon layers corresponding to input A. This polysilicon layer is corresponding to input A. So I'll mark input A over here. Second polysilicon line is corresponding to input B. I will mark input B over here. Now refer the diagram. <coughs> the drain terminal of P MOSFET A, this part is P MOSFET A and source terminal of P MOSFET B this lower portion is P MOSFET B are joined together. So I will mark over here uh, drain terminal of P MOSFET A. This is source terminal of P MOSFET B. Since this is drain terminal remaining is source terminal. Since this is source terminal remaining is drain terminal. Now drain and source are joined together. From the drain terminal of P MOSFET B output is taken. So I need to mark a cross over here from the drain terminal of P MOSFET B. I have to generate the output instead of drawing over here. I will draw it over here because again, one more connection I need to draw for the output. That is the connection from the N MOSFET. So just for the simplicity, I have drawn the output over here. The connection is taken from this point. That is drain terminal of P MOSFET. Now the source terminal of P MOSFET is connected to VDD. So this line is corresponding to VDD. So I will mark a cross and I will join this source terminal to VDD. This is about the connection of P MOSFET for N MOSFET. <coughs> the drain terminal of N MOSFET are joined together. So I will write this drain terminal. This is drain terminal. Again, you may exchange the uh, positions. So remaining is source terminal then source terminal. Now drain terminals are joined from where I need to take the output. So since the output is taken from this point, I will mark a cross over here. And this is the common connection for, for drain terminal of P MOSFET, uh, sorry, N MOSFET A and N MOSFET B. And this line is connected to this point for the output connection. Remaining portion source terminal of N MOSFET A is connected to ground. So I'll mark a cross and I will join it to the ground terminal. Then source terminal of N MOSFET B is connected to ground. So I'll mark a cross and I will join it by a straight line. So this is the stick diagram for CMOS NOR gate. Likewise, you can draw the stick diagram for any Boolean logical expressions. Only the thing is that from the Boolean equation first, draw the CMOS diagram and from the CMOS diagram, we know the rule. Uh, always the CMOS diagram must be in the complementary form. <coughs> that is, it, it should contain a bar. Then from the CMOS diagram, using the same rule, same technique, you can draw the stick diagram of any Boolean equation. <laughs> so dear students, that's it for today's session. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.